Hello crafty friends, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda. In day 30 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 9. And this sketch is made by Christie's Beautiful Life. So thank you Christie for this amazing journey of 30 sketches in 30 days. And I will tell you this sketch came together faster than I think any sketch I've ever done in my life. So I pulled out the sketch and I was kind of looking at it and then I knew I had these two photos from the same day, one with my mom and then one with my mom and my aunt. And so looking at just kind of what were the leftovers or, or the things that were still hanging around in my embellishments for this heritage album I'm doing for my mom, I just was looking at the sketch and kind of trying to use the pieces that I already had cut out and that were done and um, just mentally it's been very rough around here um, if you've ever sold a house and you've had to live in it while getting it ready to go on the market and out here apparently people move out of their houses before they sell them and I don't know how they can do that but um, so we're gonna be living in the house while it's on the market but the real estate agent is like it needs to be more like a staged home so we've just been working really hard to get everything out and to you know live very modestly or at least get ready to for the next three weeks so um, I chose to do these albums this way a because crafting is a wonderful escape time you don't think about it much but also because then it was minimum supplies that I needed to have access to in the house so that when it's time for the photos to be done or the via um, the video walkthrough the 3d tour to be done that it's a little easier to pack my totes and, and clear things out so that's why I was using all these leftovers so I have the four scallop lace border at the top and then the three at the side and then these leaves I just I was loving them and like I said this layout just came together so quickly so after I put down the flowers that are on the left I was looking for stamps to stamp in the film strip because that's what I've been doing well as I was looking in my supplies and because I'm kind of in a pared down thing not only do I have stamps but I also have some of my embellishments that I had pulled for this project and I saw this um, compliments and it had the word beautiful and it was in this antique gold color which is just perfect for what I've been doing in these album pages so I was gonna put them down each individually and then I decided no let's get smart and take them off as you can see I'm doing here now and that almost worked <laughs> so then I'm just gonna adjust them but because I didn't push anything down yet they're really easy to adjust they're um, slightly puffy and um, definitely still sticky but I just I thought with my aunt and my mom you know you think of bathing beauties you know from that time frame but I didn't want to put that down so I just thought beautiful covered it all and for the last day this I was just I was really excited I will be doing a full walkthrough of all of the layouts that I've done so be on the lookout for that on Thursday the 31st so then I thought instead of stamping the images into this film strip I would just use the hearts from that same um, antique gold puffy stickers and then I realized oh you don't have everything glued down yet because I was I found these stickers and I didn't want to miss including you in part of the journey because this layout like I said it just it came together in literally minutes I mean from the time I pulled out the sketch and the photos to um, hitting end on the video recorder it wasn't even 15 minutes so I just very excited about this and that includes my time of when I turned the camera off and was doing my gluing down so as you can hear my voice is a little tired tonight I apologize for that but I was excited to have this done and it's just gonna be one more check off my list of things to do but I've been enjoying this in fact I'm already thinking ahead of videos that I'm gonna to put together and projects that I'm gonna do and one of them will be to continue doing pages for either this heritage album or a continuation of this heritage album for my mom because I have literally seven of the small photo plastic folder holders or I started with seven of my mom from when she was a youth all the way into early marriage years and um, I'll just continue scrapbooking these I've been enjoying it so as you saw I took the hearts off of those um, thickers I think they're called the foamy stickers and then I went and grabbed some white of the faceted gems 
and I'm just gonna kind of add these around my little embellishment clusters and my clusters are bigger than Christie's um, but I still think it it gives a nod to the layout and it just for me like I said this came together so quickly and I love this page so maybe we'll have a few more of those moments in the future be sure to check out everybody else and what they're doing with the sketches this month. Some could participate every day, some did most of the days, I think I missed two, and um, others did what they could when they could. So thank you for watching and this has been an amazing journey. Uh, Kim Ferguson and I have had a lot of fun talking and doing this together. This is how you can catch up with me. I do have my Facebook group link in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, now would be a good time to do that. Here's a video you may be interested in. But like I said, do go and check out all the amazing work that these creators have done for the 30 Days of Sketches Round 9. Blessings!